Progressive Suzuki's Ken Roxanne had a tough night at the opening round of the Anaheim 1 Supercross last night. After winning his 450 heat race and carrying the momentum into the main event, Roxanne crashed in the first lap following an incident with Malcolm Stewart and Vince Freeze. Fortunately, Roxanne was able to continue the race, as his engine did not turn off during the incident. The Thuringian quickly got back on his motorcycle but found himself at the end of the field. The German rider could only do so much to limit the damage from that point on. Roxanne was involved in a first lap crash caused by Vince Fries and Malcolm Stewart and was sent to the back of the field. Despite a bent motorcycle, the 29-year-old from Matstedt still finished in 10th place. The motorcycle was so badly bent that Roxanne had to visit his mechanics. Even after that, the handlebar mounts were still twisted. Still, Ken Roxanne gave it his all. As the track became more and more rutted, it became extremely difficult to keep a straight line, Roxanne said. Ken Roxanne posted on social media, What a heartbreak last night, my night was going great. Heat race win and a good start going into the first turn, but I couldn't turn and was midfield and then my front got ripped away from me in rhythm. My bike was so bent up I had to go into the mechanics area and even after, starting the race up so far back and my bar mounts were still so twisted. I gave everything I had but as the track got chewed up and ruddy I really had a hard time going in a straight line. I made it back to 10th and salvaged what I could. The only way I wasn't going to finish the race was if my handlebar was ripped off other than that we were moving forward. Thank you to my team and people that are down there with me and love going racing. We are going to keep it cool and try again and we are ready for whatever is to come. Eli Tomac had a solid first race back, joining them in the top 10 with a 9th place finish. Tomac had a solid first race back, qualifying 6th. With chaos in the first turn of the first 450SX heat race collecting multiple riders, he didn't get the start he hoped for, but he made his way from 6th to 4th. In the main event, he had the 7th gate pick and was 11th after the start. The multi-time champ fought his way up to 8th and ultimately crossed the line 9th. Eli Tomac also had a night he'd likely rather forget, taking 9th. Tomac never looked horrible, but not once during the day did he ever really look like the assassin he is. Don't expect him to ride around like that all season.